welcome back. Wait a second. I actually want to change out of this shirt. Give me a second. Okay, I think that's a little better, don't you think? Got my Burton Universe shirt on, hair a little decent, and you know, just in a different color than gray, which is what I always wear, basically, due to work. Anyways, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Before I even continue on with this video, just wanted to update you guys really quick on where I've been because I was obviously out for some time. There was no video posted, so just wanted to chit chat for a bit and kind of give you guys that little update. So, so I'm going to give you guys the shorter terms because I actually tried to make a video about what happened to me where I was give you guys a full story time I went all out full throttle put makeup on got in a cute outfit it basically failed you know I guess I'm just not good at story times at long story times because I got through the video filmed it from start to finish but as soon as it got to the editing portion I wasn't happy with it and it was frustrating me because I just wanted to get this out to you guys I wanted to explain to you guys and give you guys the whole gist of what happened but um yeah just guess it wasn't meant to be posted as its own video so in this case I'll give you guys the shorter terms and we're gonna move on from there so basically I was in the hospital two weeks ago due to a little something called vertigo. If you guys don't know what vertigo is, it's basically when you get a sudden spinning sensation, or at least that's what the medical definition says. If I were to say it, you know, talking to you guys, no definition whatsoever, I would just say it is randomly getting dizzy at such a high power to the point where you end up throwing up or at least in my case that's how it was <laughs> so yes i ended up in the hospital because of vertigo and let me just say it was a rough day for i want to say about an hour i was just throwing up one after another sorry if you hear orion in the back shouting don't know what he's doing i just know he's in a happy mood but yeah i was basically throwing up one after another for like a whole hour and after that whole hour my body basically decided to kind of shut down in a sense I was no longer throwing up anything I was basically throwing up air and because of how much I was throwing up my body got weak to the point where I couldn't get up and then I went to the hospital and it kind of sucked because this day I did have to work and so I had to call off obviously because in no way was I gonna go to work like that so at the hospital, they did an EKG on me, which is basically like a heart test, heart x-ray, something like that. And they also did a CAT scan, which is another kind of like x-ray, I guess, to kind of see what's going up in my noggin, see if there's any issues there. Everything came out great. There was no issues. I basically got vertigo because of stress, because 2020 has been a year. We can all agree on that one. My family and I did hit a couple of bumps. For one, we actually lost a family member to the virus. And then not long after that, we found out that my grandma had the virus. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know that my grandma is a very special person to me and to my family. So I guess finding out that my grandma had the virus was kind of like the max point where my stress hit and before I continue on my grandma is perfectly fine she no longer has the virus I don't understand how that happened it sounds bad I know but my grandma has been through so much she has hit so many obstacles in her life she has diabetes her kidneys don't work and she is one leg short so when my family and I found out she got the virus, we basically started preparing for the worst because we started thinking like there's no way that she is going to pass the virus. This thing is going to take her. So like I said, thankfully she's okay now. Unexplainably, the, the virus passed her and I mean all we got to do is just thank the man upstairs for that one because we were not sure how that happened. Like we were 
ready for her to go like we were ready for the virus to take her but big man said otherwise he said she still had her time left so my grandma is still here happy and goodness we're all just so happy about that but yeah that's kind of when the stress started to hit to the extreme the first day that we found out i had a few breakdowns the next few nights like it was just horrible my grandma was on my mind every day and even when i was at work she was all i was thinking about it was just rough so due to all the stress that i had been feeling vertigo decided to become a part of my life so there we go i am better now thankfully it has been two weeks and the vertigo is still here but thankfully it is not as intense as it was it has eased down and at this point i can kind of say that it is going away they did give me medication for the dizziness to kind of ease it but truth be told the medication didn't do anything i still felt the exact same way even after drinking the medication but thankfully my doctor recommended the epley maneuver which is basically like a physical therapy kind of exercise that you can do at home to kind of help the vertigo go away at the end of the day vertigo has no actual cure it will go away on its own but the epley maneuver kind of helps it go away a little faster and I do have to say that has helped a lot more than the freaking medication like the first day that I did it I did it twice because I was like I want this dizziness to go away I am tired of feeling the way that I do I just want to go back to my normal life you know so I did it twice that day and it helped a bunch after that and ever since then I have been doing the epley maneuver at least once or twice a day and I feel so good you guys i am able to function again i am able to have good days i am back at work i was off of work for about a week or so and then they put me on modified work so i am basically stuck at the register and that's about it i was supposed to be with the receiving crew this week but due to all of this i am on limitations so they put me back at the register so that's that <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I also still, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I still have the bruise from the IV that they did. They gave me my liquids, and then they also gave me medication for the nausea, which, oh my goodness, helped so much. I am shook. Literally, as soon as they gave me that medication, I was done throwing up. I felt so grateful. I don't know what it was that she gave me, but it helped incredibly. So, but yeah. I am back. That is basically where I've been, what happened, and I just gotta say I feel freaking incredible guys. And I also feel so much better that I was actually able to tell you guys what happened to me in kind of like a shorter term because redoing that full story time, like I legit in that story time gave you guys like details, details. Some details were probably like irrelevant but I still gave it to you. <laughs> So I feel like this short version was like so much better. I also have another update guys. Well, not really update, more like addition. Yeah, I got a tattoo guys. I got a new tattoo and I just got a black and white Mickey. I put Aquaphora on because he was looking a little crusty, not gonna lie. And I wasn't liking it, so. I chose Mickey because out of all my favorite Disney characters, Disney obsessions if you want to call them, Mickey Mouse was my very first favorite Disney character and he is still my all-time favorite. Quick story time, I actually cried for Mickey as a little baby, I think. I don't know how old I was exactly, but my mom told me the story that one day that they had taken me and my sister to Disneyland for the first time, I believe, we had seen Fantasmic. And as soon as Fantasmic ended, I bursted into tears because I wanted Mickey. And she said that I wouldn't stop crying to the point where they ended up buying me my first Mickey Mouse from Disneyland. So he kind of has some meaning to me. <laughs> and I mean, you know, I love Monster Zinc and I love Wally especially, but at the end of the day, it's always gonna be Mickey Mouse for me. So I decided to add him to 
my little tattoo collection, I guess we'll say. It's not like I'm gonna get a lot of tattoos, but I do have like a mini collection with their meanings, you know? And another meaning, I guess you can say, that will actually kind of stick with it is this is the first tattoo that my brother did on me. So it's a little special one. You know, I don't think my brother did bad at all for first time. He looks pretty freaking cool. I am literally obsessed with this tattoo. As soon as my brother was done with it, I was so happy. I could not, even today, I can't even stop looking at it. When I'm at work and I'm like waiting for a customer to come up or whatever to ring them up or if I'm like watching a movie here in bed or something, I would just randomly look at it because it's just so like, wow. I just love him so much. He's so cute. It's my new happiness right now. hair is always horrible after a shower. I feel like it's in the mood where it's like, please don't touch me. I don't want to be touched. I don't want to be brushed. Like, leave me alone. So all I do, try to part it as close as I can down the middle, put it behind my ears, and then let it do its own thing. I never really like to brush my hair after showering because... <laughs> Thick hair ain't no joke when it comes to brushing it out. I'm just not in it for that whole like poof thing. So I kind of just leave it as is and let it dry on its own. And then once it's all dried up, then I will decide to brush it. <laughs> but for now, this is how it stays. There's a little after shower routine for you. <laughs> no one asked for it, but I gave it to you. Then this is how I finish it off, of course. Careful. Little update on Panther. We have been getting him used to coming outside without running off. So this is kind of his little, he likes to make this his morning routine. So he'll come outside just to chill a little bit. Oh, you say hello? Okay. He'll sniff the floor. If he can make it to the dirt, he'll roll in the dirt but we try to keep him as far from the dirt as possible. But he'll just get his little fresh air. Look, there he goes, making his way to the dirt. Okay, inside we go because he ran to the dirt twice. There we go. No, no more outside. You messed it up. Yeah, you did. Don't start playing with the curtains. When he gets mad, guys, he goes crazy. He legit throws a fit. I hear you. You're not going outside again. Well, that's your fault. Oh my God. Feels so freaking good to be home. You guys, today was freaking busy. So busy. I mean, it was good because the day went quick, but I'm freaking beat, man. My body is just like, wants to just rest. After I got out of work though, my mom and I made a quick stop to Target. I bought a few things, but I don't want to show you guys yet because that is going to be for a separate video. It is going to be a haul, so stay tuned for that but anyways I'm a change because don't want to be in my work shirt obviously that feels so much better oh my goodness speaking of shopping I have actually been doing a lot of online shopping and it's kind of ridiculous my money is going pretty quick I like didn't even want to buy the stuff that I bought at Target, but I know that if I don't get it now, it's probably not going to be there when I want to get it. So I snatched it and yeah, I think I'm done online shopping and shopping for now. You know, I don't want to drain all of my money. <laughs> so yeah, shopping is done. Okay, I need to continue to tell myself that. No more shopping. I need to stop.
Okay, so I currently have a swollen hand. I don't even know if you guys can see how swollen it is, but it's a little swollen, not because of work. Let me start off by saying that. This is actually from yesterday, I guess. See, what had happened was there are some new kitties in the neighborhood and there is one specifically that I have just been obsessing over. It is just the cutest thing. So yesterday he, I'm gonna say he, I don't know the gender of the kitten, so I'm gonna just say he because kind of looks like a he. Anyways, we had our side door open and he was actually in the garage so I decided to sit with him because Debbie did give him a little something to eat so while he was eating I decided to just sit there with him and just give him some company let him know I'm a friendly person you know and I guess during that time that I was sitting in the garage mosquitoes were just attacking me and I have never been bit on my hand so I guess my hand is just reacting to them biting me I don't know but it feels like I punched a wall like I can't even like bend it when I do bend it it just feels so like tense and sore I guess you could say and it's just it's not the business it wasn't swollen yesterday I woke up with it swollen and I was actually working like this but yeah here let me at least like let me show you guys what I mean because you guys probably can't even tell that it's swollen so here's both of my hands I don't know if you guys can see it though. I mean, my left hand, normal. It's very like, I can move it around obviously. This side, it's a little more on the chunky side and I can't, my fingers just look so much thicker than these ones. <laughs> it's just, it's not the business. Like, I don't even know exactly where I got bit. I just know that this whole like area is hot as heck first of all it is so hot like compared to everywhere else on my body this part is like burning hot and it's just like so freaking i don't know i don't know if it's like a allergic reaction or something i don't know it's just i don't know i don't think i've ever had a swollen hand before or a swollen anything so this is pretty brand new and I'm like I don't know how to feel about it <laughs> anyways I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you guys enjoyed it go ahead and throw me a big old thumbs up I would really appreciate that I cannot stop looking at my hand comment down below what your favorite Starbucks drink is at the moment I am always open to trying some new drinks make sure those post notifications are turned on so you guys know exactly when I post my videos and don't forget to follow me on Instagram because when I am not here I am over there I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video bye my hand looks like Mickey Mouse's hand. What the hell? Like, might as well just say, oh boy. <laughs>